It's a little big for you, bud. You like helping in the garage? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You good boy. You good boy. And welcome back, y'all, to another day in the Freedom & Company garage. Today, we are working on our 700cc swap Honda Grom. Alrighty guys, so today we are working on our fuel system. This tank up here will not hold enough fuel. Therefore, we're adding these two tanks right back there. So in our previous video, we had showed you guys that we we're gonna be running these two auxiliary tanks underneath the tail of our Grom here. And these are going to be increasing our fuel capacity. That way we have a longer range for actually riding this beast. So we are going to be taking these, we're gonna be welding all of these holes and ports shut. And then we are going to be cleaning up these tabs that we had CNC plasma cut at our table at work. And we're gonna be welding them on to make them look like little nuclear bombs. So we're gonna go ahead and break out the TIG weld over here, get all these things cleaned up, and get to welding. Alrighty, so we have one of our little fin assemblies all welded up now. So we tacked together the square first and then tacked on the fins, then welded it all out. Uh, it's fully welded out, so you can see all the little fillets in there on both sides of the fins as well as the outsides of the square there. So that is going to sit right on the end of our tank just like that. So now we have the one done over here. We're going to have to go ahead and weld the other one up over here and then fill all of these holes and then weld that to that. And now y'all we have two of our fin assemblies all welded up and finished out. These things turned out really nice, um, all welded up and then blended down all the corners and the rear. The rear is actually what we're going to be seeing most of from the back of the bike. 
so it was really important to make all of those look nice and pretty. So now we're going to go ahead and start filling all of our holes. Yes, holes on our gas tanks, that is. Um, so we're gonna weld those up, blend all those down, and then we can weld the fins to the tanks. All right, so now we have our tank pretty much prepped for welding. So we cut off the little nipple on the end there on both ends. And then we also drilled out these ports because as you can see on these tanks, they are threaded. And you can see right down in there that it is, uh, when they actually spin these tanks, when they go to thread these holes, they extrude them first. So you can see that this tank is about eighth inch thick. Um, and then over here, if you look at this threaded body, that's much deeper so we went ahead drilled these out and then uh, filed everything down that we don't have anything protruding into the tank that we don't need to so we're going to fill all these holes and then once we get everything placed we'll know exactly where we are going to weld our bungs later so that generally is going to be our lowest point on the tank once it is sitting on the bike so once we get these mounted then we'll be able to tell that and then we can weld on some of our final hose bungs for our our gas transfer tubes All right, y'all, so we got these two tanks welded. We got them actually welded together right down the center. So we've got a weld 
right over here and then one down there and that will keep these two together we have the tail fins all lined up with each other and right now we have them just ratchet strapped to the tail of the bike just to get them kind of mocked up and see where we are going to be going with them so next steps from here we have a couple things that we're going to have to figure out um, so these tanks it's going to take a lot of kind of plumbing to get them to function properly so the next step to figure out from here is all of our plumbing these are going to take quite a bit of of hoses and plumbing to be fully functional um, so we're going to need the main fill from this tank down to fill these up which is going to require a vent from the very top point up here that will let the gases escape as the gas is filling up that way they actually fill up to the top and then we're going to need a draw line from the very bottom point and that will go to our fuel pump we're going to have in here somewhere so we're going to need an inlet um, we're going to need a gas outlet on the top and then a gasoline outlet down here on the bottom. So as for these guys, we got them all finished to the point that we are looking to today. We got all of the ports welded shut, we got the tail fins welded on, we have the two tanks welded together, and they actually look pretty sweet. Um, so that's kind of the look we were going for. We didn't want just two tanks sitting down there, um, so it just gives it a little bit something extra, and they, they turned out pretty well. So now that we got all that stuff done, we think that's where we're gonna end this video today. We got all that stuff put together. Um, so this will give us a little bit of time to actually figure out what we need to do for all of our connection points there. Um, so moving forward, if you guys really like what we're doing here, if you like this kind of videos where we're just figuring it out as we go, um, building some crazy stuff, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. We'll put a card up in the top right of the screen to subscribe to us. And if you guys really want to help out, check out our Patreon in the comment section below that really helps us out with getting some of the supplies that we need to finish this thing so we've still got a lot of parts that we're going to have to go ahead and order like we're going to need an exhaust different handlebars all our controls um, tuning stuff like that to get this running right so every little bit helps so thank you guys so much for watching until next time